and welcome back folks, Privyet Rebiata to another exciting episode of Stalker Clear Sky. Here we are with our beefed up MP5. Pretty awesome. 45 shots, that's not bad. One thing I just realized I didn't talk about as yet were the artifact containers. Now you have five artifact containers like in the first game, but you have to unlock them. And different armors have different carrying potential. Um, let's say uh, suits that are typical for scientists, like the Siva suit, have a higher capability uh, for artifact containers than something like uh, military upgrades or equipment to. Now the leather jacket is pretty bad all around, so uh, at best it can uh, allow you to use two artifacts, but well, every every armor is different, right? So. Uh, that's just how it goes with that. Okay. Now, where are we? We are here and the map is showing me a lot of green pretty much everywhere. Looks like it's about time we actually do go to the uh, to the camp of the renegades. We are actually... Wow, our buddies were really effective, weren't they? Right, let's just uh, sprint there. Uh, as you probably noticed already, the uh, the GUI, the GUI, the graphical user interface is very different in this game. Although the same basic things apply. Uh, well, I guess the most like in the main game is the uh, map with the compass and showing you objectives and the like. That's very very normal. Um, to the lower right, there is your display for health and armor and for your ammo and to the far right lower right that's uh, basically a Geiger counter showing you when you are in irradiated areas oh. and above that Geiger counter are environmental hazards so that's uh, from the bottom to the top that's radioactivity that's heat or fire that's uh, what is that I think that's uh, that's Toxins like chemicals and stuff like that. Ah, I just got stash info from that dead body. That's kind of cool. So you don't just have to buy every stash info. You can still find it, but you can also buy it. So that's good. Um, and at the very top is, I believe, psi damage. You know, L like the stuff that the controllers can do to you. And below the Geiger counter is a. Uh, light blue bar that displays your stamina right Whoa. Uh, don't shoot at me folks be careful yeah Keep on going. right so uh, yeah and right now the Geiger can't actually displays that I'm slightly irradiated that red stuff there right but since I have an uh, anti-radiation artifact that should go down so right here is another location that uh, Clear Sky already took over. It's called the Burnt Out Farmstead, which makes sense. I mean, it looks kind of burned out, doesn't it? Um, this box right here, boxes like these exist in various places of the game, and they kind of get re recharged with ammo every now and then, and, and in this case, food and medical supplies. You can just take it. Uh, I guess uh, it's supposed to allow you to keep fighting without having to go back to base and buy ammo every now and then. Which makes sense. And at the same time, you uh, you get to sell stuff that you don't need. So it's a nice source of income. I would think that uh, this is an in-game representation of the increased resources that your faction gains, you know. Right, so here we are. This is, this is it. Looks like Clear Sky is already invading. Man, these guys are surprisingly competent today. I'm really not used to that. <laughs> oh well. Let's see if we can help them out, but uh, not forget to loot, of course. That's the highest priority here. Ow! Ow! No! No! Ow! Okay, this was kind of chaotic right there. Um, 
let's let's focus on fighting maybe where are those guys they're bound to be more of them right huh Yeah? Who's shooting at me? This is their main base, so obviously the resistance will be the strongest here. There you go. I would be surprised if there weren't more enemies around. Picking up as many stash infos as we can, so that means that we don't have to buy it all, you know. We've captured the renegade's lair. All we need to do now is take control of the paths to the swamps. Hey, brother, we ain't clear on what's going on. <laughs> Thanks for helping out. Drop by our base sometime. We'll find a way to pay you back. That's a promise. Hmm. Yeah. Sure. Right. <laughs> I didn't even do that much, I only killed one guy, I think. But, uh, thanks, anyway. Now we need to hold this position, I believe. If the map is correct... Uh, never mind, nobody seems to be coming for this place. But I, I think they will actually try a counter-offensive. The Renegades. Here's a trader, and another such chest, you know, with stuff in it. We can just take that. Now let's see, is there any? Yeah, there's some ammo here. Kinda cool. See if we can get any more out of the space. But usually there's very little stuff around after all. Alright. <coughs> so, now we need to uh, capture the paths to the outside world. Yeah, that's uh, you have my full attention. That's gonna be our job, I think. So, what is it that you need? Right. So, first things first, we are gonna sell Dude, a lot of this of junk. Break. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just get rid of this stuff. You know, it's not really worth that much. I may be losing out on some money here by uh, selling it to this guy, but uh, I hope it'll be worth it if I sell it right now rather than holding on to too much junk there we go and we got plenty of ammo for our mp5 so we should be able to take out a couple of these renegades on our own now rather than just with the help of clear sky Another attack repelled. Yeah, there wasn't even a counter attack as far as I could tell but alright usually there's a bunch of enemies around here as well but nobody's here right now that's fine by me we'll take on this little base right here this is where most of the counter attacks by the renegades will come from in the future we can at least take it out we can never really well destroy it completely even when, even when the faction war is won, the renegades will at some point respawn and try again to attack. But uh, the objective will be done, though. There. This, this gun is surprisingly accurate with the proper upgrades, making it a very good choice early on in the game, in my opinion. Especially against enemies that really rely on getting close to you to do any damage whatsoever with their shotguns. Right. That was a mistake, dude. I really shouldn't have gone out of cover like that. Now the high ammo capacity is really helpful. Oof, okay, there we go. But I still got one more contact somewhere. Might be anywhere, really. Oh, 
You thought they started you off weak in the main game, right? And this is even weaker in my opinion. But uh, we already gained a lot of money, so we are not quite that weak anymore. Still, uh, beyond the swarms, I would obviously like to get rid of the uh, oh. get rid of the MP5 at some point. But for now, it's a it's an adequate weapon. Right, we get some more stash info. Again, in this game, I'll try to just get as much stash info as possible and. Uh, We'll see about picking everything up later. Well, let's try and uh, explore this little base now that we don't have any more contacts. Uh, some grenades, those are worth money. Another chest with some stuff in it we can sell or use. Yeah. And uh, again, this, this base I don't think will be ever taken by Clear Sky. Instead, it will remain a permanent spawn point for the for the renegades, but uh, we further reduced their numbers. And if you remember what it looked like earlier, uh, I think our side had like no resources and like a third soldiers, and now it's pretty much reversed, although they still have quite a lot of resources to be honest. Hmm. The last thing to do here is to take over the road to the cordon, and that's actually to the south. That's right down here guess we'll, we'll have to do that, yeah. But uh, this little detour helped us uh, stock up on some more money-making uh, items, you know. And the good thing about this upgrade is, um, this MP5 upgrade, that we, ca we really don't run out of ammo, because uh, pretty much everybody here carries uh, this type of ammunition. You know? so that's great. When I am not in any kind of combat, and this is my night vision, I prefer using uh, this setup where I have my pistol out and my detector, which you can only use one-handed weapons with the detector, uh, just in case I run across the odd, uh, the odd, um, you know, artifact flying about somewhere. In fact, there might just be one that I didn't even try to pick up yet, back at the burned out farmstead. So, we should probably go there next. I'll also get rid of some more of this junk while I'm here. Like some of the traders in the main game, I don't think the guides have unlimited money. They only have like 5,000 rubles, and once you've sold them enough stuff, they're what you need, stalker? Practically useless for uh, for sale. What's up, stalker? Yeah, stuff didn't respawn in the chest as yet. But uh, it's good to have a place where to get rid of stuff, you know. Especially vodka is quite heavy. There we go. Now, how do I quickly get to the burned out farmstead? So just to the southeast, not far at all. We can hear gunfire in the distance. I don't know if that's actually Clear Sky trying to take over the route to the cordon or whether that is uh, a squad of renegades attacking. It could be either one, honestly. Right. Here we go. So, getting at least a few basic equipment uh, upgrades and, and artifacts early on is really essential. So you really desperately need that jellyfish artifact at, in, in the tutorial level that you can get there because uh, it's gonna be the only way to get rid of radi radiation uh, for quite a long time. Ah, I hear something. And you really need to uh, upgrade your basic equipment because uh, yeah, otherwise you're just not gonna be happy. I really think the uh, Kevlar armor in particular is really essential. Right. Looks like we got a burner anomaly here. Ow. Where is it? Okay, I'm kind of burning out now. There it is. 